All right, so uh, MLB The Show 19 video today. I've had this video on my notepad for quite some time, but it just got pushed to the side because I've had other videos to do, which by the way, your guys' support on the videos recently, insane, wild stuff. We're breaking records for this channel, but that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is to go over MLB The Show 19, predicting the 2019 Major League Baseball season, the World Series champion, how the playoffs goes, MVP, all that stuff, we will cover it in this video because as you guys know, I did my predictions a couple weeks ago, then I had my YouTube friends as well put theirs on the channel. And even though we're a couple weeks into the season, I think it's a good time to do the MLB The Show 19 prediction because we have seen some crazy stuff. We've seen the Mariners in first place. We've seen the Rays in first place. The Yankees are losing to the Orioles. The Red Sox are losing to the Blue Jays. I mean, there's a lot of crazy stuff happening in baseball right now. So I think it'd be interesting to see how MLB The Show 19 sees the season ending up. I'm gonna go ahead and pick the Mets for this. We have updated rosters with everything. It's gonna have all the minor league players in there as well. And while I set this up, you'll see that I'm turning off everything. I'm not controlling it. We're just pressing sim and seeing where it goes. So if this is something you guys like to see, make sure to leave a like on this video. That's the best way to support the channel. Subscribe if you are new and you enjoy the content because you guys, if you want baseball, this is the place to be. Let me know in the comment section down below who you think is going to win the World Series this year or if you agree or disagree with the MLB The Show 19 predictions. And remember to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at DraftNickMark. Links in the description. All right, so we're on the screen where we're going to do auto for everything. Auto manage coaching tasks, player development, general manager tasks. We're not touching anything. We're just going to go ahead and press auto. We're going to start off in the regular season. I'm literally, I'm not touching anything. We're just going to go ahead and sim. So let's go to the calendar and let's just start simulating. So we're on March 2019. Uh, let's go ahead and simulate to the end of May. See what it's looking like through there. So the Mets, oh, I don't want to do critical situations. Yeah, turn those off. Get them out of here. Uh, all right, Mets starting off pretty not great. I don't know, seven and five, seven and six. The Phillies are around 500 as well from what I can see. Cardinals right around 500. Phillies losing more games. Fourth place team, like I said, in my predictions. Just keep that in the back of your mind. Mets are looking good though. 21 and 15, 22 wins. As I say that, they lose three games or two games to the Marlins, so that's not fantastic. But I'm interested to see what MLB The Show says for these predictions. Like I said in mine, Mets, Yankees, World Series. I know that got a lot of you mad, but as we see through the first two months here in June, the Mets are sitting with a 32 and 26 record. We'll take a look at the standings real quick and see how everyone's doing. So in the NL East, the Nationals and the Mets are basically in first place. Hold on a second. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nationals first place, then the Mets are half a game behind, and the Marlins are in third place with a 31 and 25 record. How? What is happening? The Braves are in fourth with an under 500 record, and the Phillies are in last place. All oh, the Philly fans are going to be triggered. I told you, fourth place team. This is worse, fifth place. In the Central, the Cubs are in first place by five games over the Cardinals. Then we've got the Reds, the Pirates, and the Brewers are in last place. Go figure. I don't think this is not what I expected. For the West, we have the Rockies in first place, followed by the Diamondbacks. What? And then the Dodgers, Giants, and Padres. Again, what is going on with the divisions right now in the National League? In the American League, we've got the Yankees dominating with 41 wins. The Red Sox are four and a half games behind them. Then it's the Rays, Orioles, and Blue Jays, not even close, which is, of course, different than it is right now. The Rays are dominating the American League East. In the Central, the Indians are winning very easily, 11 games already in May over the White Sox, then the Royals, Twins, and Tigers. And then in the West, we've got the Angels and Astros tied for first place. Interesting. The Athletics five back, Mariners, and the Rangers are in dead last. So to say that the first two months of the season have been crazy in this simulation, it's, you're not lying. So let's go ahead and simulate to the all-star game here. We'll go ahead and check how the MVP votes are doing, how the teams are looking in the standings. We'll go ahead and look at some stats, go a little bit more in depth into what the predictions are looking like. Because right now, the Marlins were in third place. What is happening? The Diamondbacks were tied for second place. I mean, this just, MLB The Show 19, a very good game, very realistic, but uh, the simulation might be a little bit off here. So we're at the all-star break here gonna go ahead and take a look at the standings again so let's go look there first place is the nationals whoa whoa the phillies must have gone crazy 51 and 40 they've jumped up to second place now but they were in last okay so they're in second the mets are in third two and a half back of the nationals then followed by the marlins and then the braves are pretty comfortably in last place this has been a crazy national league east already move to the central the cubs still are in first place the brewers have moved into second now after being in last place, just goes to show the first two months of the season, while they matter, doesn't ruin the entire season, followed by the Reds, Cardinals, and Pirates, very close though division, I will say. In the West, you've got the Dodgers, and then I don't understand how the Diamondbacks are still competing. Three and a half back of the Dodgers, the Rockies, and then the Giants and Padres are way far behind. Go out to the American League East, we've got the Yankees in first, followed by the Red Sox, and the Orioles, go figure, in third place, but... They're not doing very well still. Almost 20 games under 500. Rays and Blue Jays. In the Central, we've got the Indians. Almost 20 games up on the Twins. Oh my goodness. Twins aren't even having a bad year, really. Only one game under 500. 
Tigers in last place, Royals, White Sox, Twins, like I said. In the West, you've got the Astros in first, followed by the A's and Angels, only two games back, and then Mariners and Rangers. So this division right now, right here, has looked the most realistic. The Yankees, Red Sox are right there as well, Indians. The American League's kind of normal. When you go to the National League, it is all over the place. It's been pretty crazy. Go ahead and take a look at the league leaders thus far. So average, we've got Charlie Blackman hitting 363. Nolan Arenado, 333. Wilson Ramos, 329. In the American League, Francisco Lindor is leading with 337. Miguel Cabrera, Mike Trout. Uh, let's go ahead and look at home runs. Let's take a look at home runs here. So Trevor Story leads the National League in home runs with 29. His average isn't great, but he has a 595 slugging percentage. 29 homers, 77 RBIs at the All-Star break. Pretty good. Javi Baez is having a pretty decent season. 28 homers, 66 RBIs, 262 average. Max Muncy, ah, decent. Still pretty good. Jose Martinez up there. Is there anybody weird? Ooh, Chris Taylor has 20 homers? Okay, Chris Taylor. That's a surprising one, to say the least. Take a look at the American League now. Whoa, look at JD Martinez's numbers. 34 homers, 80 RBIs, 300 average. 634 slugging to give him an OPS of 1,000. At the All-Star break, those are pretty good numbers. Francisco Lindor, 337, 28, 73, 1,000 OPS. Again, 648 slugging. Trout, 666 slugging, 24 homers, 61 RBIs, 328 average, one, almost 1,100 OPS. Incredible. Some shocking names here. Anybody? DD's up here. Yuli Gurriel, not known for his power in real life, as well as Michael Brantley. Interesting guys up there. All right, we'll take a look at the pitchers now. All right, so the pitcher in the National League with the best ERA at the All-Star break is Andrew Suarez, followed by Jose Urania and Madison Bumgarner. Now, Max Scherzer, that makes sense. But then Pablo Lopez? I'm very confused what's going on here. These top five is not your conventional top five. We have two guys on the Giants, two guys on the Marlins. What? Marlins pitching isn't good. Jose Urania, shocking. Let's take a look at the American League. We got Carlos Carrasco, that makes sense. Eduardo Rodriguez, 11-1 at the break, 2.33 ERA. Matthew Boyd, 2.53. Nate Carnes is on the Orioles, 2.58. Severino's hurt. Felix Pena. What are some of these names we're seeing here? Overall, though, pretty crazy start to the season. And then we have, I guess, our favorites at the All-Star break. So Trevor Story is the favorite for the MVP in the NL. JD Martinez in the AL. For the Cy Young, it's Jacob deGrom, my boy. New York Mets in the National League. I don't know how it's him. And then the American League, it's Chris Sale. Nolan Arenado's got the batting title in the National League. Francisco Lindor in the American. Reliever is Brad Hand. Hey, Trevor May, he's a, uh, you know, he streams on Twitch. And then the National League, it's Sean Doolittle. Rookie of the Year, Nick Senzel. Not great numbers. There doesn't seem like there's any other rookies. I, I don't get it. And then in the American League, uh, no players have qualified yet. Okay, interesting. Hank Aaron Award, Chris Bryant, and Francisco Lindor in the American League. So definitely an interesting start to the season. We're gonna go ahead and simulate up to... We're going to simulate up to the end of August, and then we'll take a look at September, see what the playoff situation is looking like, and we'll just roll from there. So yeah, I don't want to stop simulating. No, keep going, keep going, keep going, and we'll see what happens. I think at the trade deadline, we'll probably maybe stop actually, so we can see some of the trades that happened. Trade deadline prep happens in four days, it says on there. Mets not looking great. Stop simulating. Uh, yeah, we're just going to keep going. We'll, we'll see all the trades that happen when we get to the end of this month here. There's no reason to stop that many times, because... The trades happened. It's over and done with. We're doing a simulation. We want to see what MLB The Show 19 is predicting in this video happens for the 2019 Major League Baseball season. Finally done with the month of August. Go ahead and take a look at uh, the standings. So standings wise, Phillies are in first place. What a turnaround. 79 and 56 record at the end of August. That's disgusting. Nationals are three games back. Mets are nine games back. Then the Braves and the Marlins. So it's looking a bit more realistic. I don't think the Phillies are a first place team in my opinion, but at least the Marlins are back in last place where they belong. In the central, the Cubs have a nice lead over the Brewers. This one, a little, a little different. I wouldn't expect the Cardinals to be doing so poorly, but their pitching doesn't rank great. So I do understand that, but Cubs are way ahead in the central. In the West, the Dodgers are only three games up on the Diamondbacks. I don't understand how the Diamondbacks are playing so well. Rockies terrible, Padres terrible, Giants. Whew really bad and for the wild card it's basically down to about mm, four teams mets brewers diamondbacks nationals right now the diamondbacks are in the playoffs crazy move to the american league the yankees and the red sox dominating with wow look at the look at these records 56 49 47 in the american league east unbelievably bad okay uh the rays are just doing god awful which is definitely not what's going to happen this year in the central indians are taking that away Twins ha not having a bad year. They're seven games above 500. It's just the Indians have lost 38 games. In the West, the Astros are leading by five games over the Angels. A's have kind of dropped off Mariners, Rangers. A little bit what you expect. Maybe flip the Angels and A's, but 
kind of what you expect. And then when you look at the wild card, it's the Red Sox who are definitely making the playoffs. And then it's going to be a battle between the Angels, Twins, White Sox, and A's maybe. Those are kind of the other teams battling for that last spot. Final month of the season, I'm going to go ahead and simulate out the rest of the year here. Okay, who cares about the minor league teams and how they did? Ah, no, don't stop simulating. Keep going. Sim season. Mets don't look like they're going to be ah, doing too well here, although they're getting a little bit hot towards the end. Come on, Mets, make the playoffs. Doesn't look like it. 85 and 77 does not make the playoffs for the Mets. Let's go ahead and take a look at the standings. We have the Phillies in first place with 92 wins, followed by the Nationals with 91, Mets with 85, Braves with 80, and Marlins with 77. It's way more than I thought they would. But uh, Phillies take the take the lead in uh, the National League East. In the Central, the Cubs take the lead with 99 wins, followed by the Brewers, Pirates, Reds, and then Cardinals in last place. Who sees that coming? In the West, you've got the Dodgers and the Diamondbacks make the playoffs with 89 wins. What is happening? How? How does this happen? Rockies, Padres, Giants. I can't believe that. I really can't believe that. In the American League East, we've got the Yankees with 107 wins, Red Sox with 103, and then no one won more than 65. The Rays won less games than the Orioles. Okay, interesting simulation there. Central, the Indians won 113 games and lost 49. Oh my god. That's an unbelievable season. In the West, the Astros won 96, Angels won 82, making the playoffs as the other wildcard team. So that's that's what the playoffs are looking like. Let's go ahead and take a look at the awards. So MVP, Bryce Harper. Insane season, 302, 48 homers, 128 RBIs. For the American League, it's Chris Sale. 21 wins, 6 losses, 307 ERA, 301 strikeouts. That is quite the year. So that means he's going to be the Cy Young. In the National League, the Cy Young is going to be Jake Arrieta. So the Phillies. Really dominating the awards thus far. Area to 23 and 6, 2.51, 181 strikeouts. For the batting title, Nick Markakis wins it for the Braves. And for the American League, it's going to be Francisco Lindor. How does he not win the MVP? Reliever of the Year is going to be Blake Trine in the American League. And in the National League, Sean Doolittle. Rookie of the Year is Nick Senzel. And Rookie of the Year in the American League is Manuel Ibar. Don't know who that is. Hank Aaron Award goes to Francisco Lindor. And then Bryce Harper wins in the National League. So definitely an interesting regular season, as MLB The Show predicts here. So now it's time to go to the playoffs. We've got the playoff bracket here. I guess we'll just keep advancing a day until we start to see some stuff pop up. So the Nationals win the wildcard game against the Diamondbacks. And the Red Sox beat the Angels. So uh, now we just continue to move on and just... See what happens here until we see a team kind of move on to the next round. In the American League, the Astros move on, beat the Yankees. You love to see that. The Yankees lose, am I right? The Dodgers and the Cubs move on. And then the last team in the American League is going to be the Indians. So we've got the Astros, Indians, Dodgers, Cubs. Cubs are going to be the World Series team in the National League. And in the American League, it's the Indians. Can the Indians get revenge or is it going to be the Cubs yet again? We shall see. Let's keep advancing days here until we finally get a simulation. Hello, are we going to simulate a game? How many days? All right, so the Indians take game one. The Cubs take game two. No day in between. Indians take game three. Indians take game four. And your 2019 World Series champions, as predicted by MLB The Show 19, are the Cleveland Indians defeating the Chicago Cubs in five games. I honestly did not expect this. This is a very interesting simulation. I don't agree with it one bit. I'd love to know what you guys think about this simulation down in the comment section below. Do you agree? Do you disagree? If you do enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like on. It's the best way to support the channel. Subscribe if you're new and you enjoy the content. If you love baseball, this is a place to be. Make sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram at DraftNeckMark. Links in the description. And that's going to be it for today's video. YouTube recommends you watch this one right here as well as this is my most recent upload. So if you have not seen either of those, Click through them, watch them, give them a look. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.